It is time for our second third grade bridge project. My daughter Claire is building the Morrison Bridge here in Portland. So we would we thought we would do another father-daughter project. So the very first thing we did was a field trip to the Morrison Bridge and we walked up it from both sides. This is the west side. Then on the east side, there's a cool spiral ramp that goes up to the bridge. Now the Morrison Bridge is a drawbridge, so it opens in the middle. The big thing that we discovered about the bridge was that the parts that open in the middle vibrate a lot more than the grounded parts on each end. So after our field trip, it was time to start thinking about how to build this bridge. We started by playing around with the CNC machine. <laughs> Claire, Claire liked moving it around. It's pretty fun. And we attached some three millimeter birch plywood to the CNC table. I got Claire to fire the nail gun. And I showed her how to change the bit in the spindle. And how to set the zero, zero, zero point. We started by cutting out the trusses. So there's a sort of triangular cantilever truss in the middle and two longer trusses on each side. Claire really liked cleaning up the sawdust after each cut. So we cut out the holes for the trusses first and then we cut out the overall shape of the truss. And we had to sand those pieces just a little bit. They're just a little bit fuzzy from the cut. We were using a eighth inch bit on the router. Then we cut out the cross pieces that'll hold the trusses together. And more cleaning up the sawdust. <laughs> Now for these cross pieces, we had to spend more time keeping track of the different sizes. But we went through the same sanding routine. And we could start actually putting things together at this point. So we just glued the cross pieces to the side pieces of the truss. Now I realized that this is really Claire's project and I'm really shaping a lot of it by doing it in the shop. And I guess our rationalization was that doing it this way gave us a lot of time together in the shop. And I really tried to have her involved in every part of the project and see how every step was done and have her make decisions about how we do stuff. Now, after we had the trusses together, we could start building the piers and we cut out shapes from, I think it's 3 8 inch birch plywood. And we stack those shapes up to make the monolithic overall shape of the piers. And you can see how the truss is gonna fit into that pier. And I had to modify one of the layers just a little bit. This will let the axle to the lower gear fit into the pier. Then it was just a matter of gluing all of those layers together to make the pier. And I can't keep my hands out of the project. But I showed her how to line up the layers so that we'd get a nice straight vertical wall. And I showed her how to use the, the pin nailer. And I really should have had her wearing her safety glasses at this point, which we did later on. And you can see how the how the truss is going to fit into the pier. But there'll, there'll be the road over the top, so you won't see it really. Now in the bridge, there's a big counterweight on the other side of the cantilever in the middle. So we made a block of wood that would fit into our truss. And we glued that into place, which will work like a counterweight in the model. Now to attach the moving truss in the middle and the gear that's gonna move that truss, I made some bearing plates that will attach to the pier and hold the axles in the right place. So there's a little hole for the axles. So those bearing plates sit in the little cutouts in the pier. 
So there's a, a small gear in the bottom of the pier that will move the truss up and down. And that's what we're putting in here. And we marked where those gears would go so we would get the glue in the right place. What was tricky about this project wasn't so much the pieces and the actual physical building of the model. It was making sure we did the steps in the right order. Because once we had something glued in place, it couldn't then be modified very easily. So we couldn't build something in the way of something that we would have to get to later. Now we put the main center truss into the pier. This is probably the, the trickiest thing we had to do because the, the little bearing pieces had to slide into the sides of the pier. Then we had to very carefully put the pin nailer into that space and attach those plates to the pier. But it all worked in the end. Now we needed to make a base, or I suppose what this is is the water and the river. And I thought it would be better if we made a hollow box for that instead of layering up a bunch of plywood, as a box would be stiff, but also very light. So I cut out pieces for a frame and we put the frame together. It's similar to making a stud wall. And we can attach the other side. Then on this frame, we'll put a thin layer of plywood on one side. And that'll make the base for the bridge or the surface of the water in the model. So we can put glue on that frame, then attach the thin piece of plywood to the top. Then I flush trim the edge to make the plywood flush with the frame. Now we can start putting the bridge together. So the first thing to do is to glue the longer trusses to the outer piers. So we put together the smaller piers that are outboard of the center piers. And it looks something like this. And then we cut out the deck. So this is the roadway on the bridge. And we just cut that out of thin plywood. I found one of the cars I'd made for the class project a few months ago. It ended up being tricky making the roadway work with the truss as it added some height and making sure that the bridge was still gonna open with that surface on the top. Then we glued the outer trusses in place and I had to find all of my little tiny clamps. <laughs> I usually don't work at this scale. We can put the other side on, which is pretty much the same as the other side. Claire's getting bored of putting glue on things at this point. Now on the deck, there was a tiny little piece that needed to be cut away so that it would open so that the bridge could still open with the, with the deck in place. So I showed Claire how to use the chisel. And looking at it now, I realize she's, I think she's sort of backwards, <laughs> the way she should be doing this. It's easy to do something yourself, but to, to show someone else how to do it can sometimes be harder than it seems. Then we could glue the deck in place. We started with the outer bigger piece and the truss still opens. And we can do the other side. If I got the pin nails in just the right place, I could make them help clamp the, the piece down. We needed to add some little shims of wood under the rotating part of the bridge to hold the center cantilevers up just slightly. The way we had it, they were sagging down, which didn't look so good. <laughs> Once we did that, we could glue the center deck in place. And it still works. Now that all the deck is in place, we need to actually attach the bridge to the base. And I left this to the end so that we could get the center joint between the two opening pieces to line up perfectly because we didn't quite know where those were going to be until the bridge was all glued together. So when it was perfect, I clamped the bridge to the base and I could tip it over and attach the bridge to the base with screws from the bottom. 
And this is why I didn't put a second piece on the frame for the bottom so that I would have access to the underside of the bridge. And it works and seems fairly durable. Now we need to make the control towers that go on each pier. And they're fairly simple. We're just gonna make a piece of wood shaped like an L with a little piece of plexiglass on top. So I had Claire help on the bandsaw. This is her first time cutting anything on the bandsaw. So I was kind of right there. Then I cut a piece of plexiglass I've had in the shop for a while, but it'll make a nice control tower window. Now we glued the parts together, but I don't have any footage of us gluing the control towers onto the bridge, but we basically clamped them to the bridge with glue between the pier and the control tower. And this is how it should work. Thanks for watching.